Hey there, kids. It's me, Oni the Unicorn. And I'm here to tell you that f***ing your dreams ain't cheap. In fact, it costs a f ton of cash to do. So that's why me and the Ono oh Radio Show need your help. Just go to the website displayed below and hit us up with some cash, yo. One dollar, five dollars, fuck, a million dollars if you have it to spare. Any amount is appreciated. Well, I gotta go because these dreams ain't gonna fuck themselves. See ya! Anyone pronounce the name of this goddamn storm that's apparently going to be hitting us tonight? Because I sure as fuck can't. That's right, that's right. We're back on a Saturday afternoon. Ooh, it's a little weird, but uh, a little we'll, weird. we'll get to why in just a minute. I'll tell you all about it. We're but all it, a little weird. Yeah, we all are a little bit weird. That's for damn sure. But anyway, I'm your host. My name is Owen. I'm the captain of the shit ship. If this is your first time listening, we welcome you to the Ono Radio Show. Along Hi. with me this evening is the purveyor of Oh No Gaming, his oh. name, his name is Mikey B. Hey, how you doing? And uh, you know, me? you know, he's that's that's I guess yeah, your new thing, which I'm, um, you know, I'm excited about. I'm excited about. We'll also get to that in just a little bit. And uh, you know, our resident cyst master, boil master extraordinaire, purveyor of boils, <laughs> purveyor of boils. Rose. It's our <laughs> good friend from the Great White North. Ty, how you doing, tall man? Oh, oh hey, buddy, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, again, again, sorry, it's such a weird time on, uh, you know, on a, on a weird day, but... Uh, wrestling. <laughs> well, well, it's not even that, I mean, uh, it's more... Wrestling takes paramount. Well, I've been excited about this wrestling event, you know, for quite some time. Uh, that's coming up, uh, you know, this evening for me. It's called Talk and Shop a Mania. It's probably going to be. It's being heralded as one of the worst wrestling pay per views of all time, and sort of a parody of professional wrestling. It's one of those things that, honestly, if both of you guys were uh, here, uh, you'd I'd make you watch, and you'd probably even get a kick out of it because it's just going to be so ridiculous. You know, it's, uh, oh, yeah. we, well, we had, you know, um, in WWE, uh, they had this thing called the Boneyard match with the Undertaker at WrestleMania. This event <laughs> is going to be featuring a Boner Yard match with, Ooh. of course, yeah, why not? With Sex Ferguson <laughs> and, um, and with Chad Too Bad. So, uh, I, I, yeah, you know, me and, uh, me and our, not really ghost producer tom we're talking earlier he sent me a meme but i think i'm gonna be diabetes Di the diabetes <laughs> that's gonna be my my wrestling persona i, I and it's gonna be somewhat undertaker like but i kind of want to be what's his name more than the undertaker the the his manager what's his name oh paul bear yeah paul bear yeah yeah it's all paul 
It's rest, all ball. rest in peace. He passed away a little bit ago. Oh. Uh, but was it diabetes? You know, Is that it, what got him? I don't know if it was diabetes, but I'm pretty damn sure that Paul Bearer had, uh, yeah, had the, diabe- he was a, the he was diabetes. He's a chunky fella. He wasn't. A, he wasn't a small <laughs> fella. Uh, definitely, yeah. definitely the case. But no. Um, welcome to the show. Uh, we weren't able to do the show on Thursday because. Your boy over here may or may not have overdone it on Wednesday, and uh, <laughs> that's not this boy right here. Didn't overdo it. Was ready for the show. Yeah. Totally good. Yeah, it to- was totally ready over here. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't me. It was me this time. It was. It was definitely my fault. I. Uh, I think I pretty much gave myself a migraine by day drinking. I think I might have started at like. Hmm, 12, Let's one. not just call it day drinking. This was all day drinking. It was all day <laughs> drinking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I we think... were we were talking at like three and three or four in the morning. I'm pretty sure that yeah. that evening. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, the following day, that into that Thursday, and I woke up and it felt like I'd been hit by a goddamn bus. And I was just like, <laughs> guys, I can't even open my eyes right now to even type a text message to you to say, can we do a show on a different day? And, uh, yeah, uh, always, of course, oh no, the utmost in professionals. We, uh, <laughs> we, this is why. Nothing but professionality here. This is why we don't have sponsors, man. This uh, is why, this is why we can't have nice things. And, uh, and, and yes. Uh, that would also, uh, lead us into the show sponsor today. Mm. Oh, what are we? Seagram 7. <laughs> Back on the Seagram 7. Seven whiskey. Whoa. I got some of that land. Delicious, land. Uh, refreshing. Do you uh, do you do a mixer with that, or are you uh, you doing it, you do it straight? Uh, I mean, you... you could. I'm mixing it with um, Quake Seven Eleven um, energy drink. What flavor <laughs> is Quake? Uh, this Quake is black cherry flavored. Okay. All right, so all right, let's all do like okay. We'll we'll all do a toast here, you know, to uh, the C Group Seven, to the Odo Radio <laughs> Show, and to doing a show on a Saturday on a weird ass day. Yeah. And uh, um, what, what do you got there, Ty? What are you drinking there? I'm drinking a Lagunitas Little Something Easy, which is a oh. a newer Lagunitas flavor, but it's it's delicious. Isn't that there? That's kind of their. Uh, isn't it their light beer the closest thing they would have to a lighter Lagunitas? Is... Yes, but it's still like 5.7, so it's not oh, really wow. that oh. light. Oh, wow. So it's like a natty light. <laughs> yes, just like a natty light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in potency, not sure. in taste. Mm. Oh. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Owen, if uh, this could also lead into snack selection of the day from 7 Eleven. Please, what do we got today? All right. So again, uh, you know I love a you know I love a gummy tri- a gummy snack. Mm-hmm. We went with the Seven uh, Eleven, just plain standard gummy worm, solid gummy worm. Yeah. Really love them. Always a big fan. You know, Seven um, Eleven should invest in uh, a gummy fish sandwich. I think that would be, oh, that would be the crossover we need. Um, their fish sandwich was delicious. Their red fish are delicious as well. Um, I think they could pioneer that and make that happen, actually. I'm into it. Um, we also have uh, the Rips, you know, these oh, delicious. Yeah. Yeah. What's a Rip? Sour, it's a little sour, like, uh, squares. Um, they're pretty delicious. It, or, yeah, it looks like a, like about like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're good. Yeah. Those things are good. I'd fuck with those. I'd fuck with those. I'm pretty sure you've brought those over before, and I've oh, I've, yeah, yeah. I've munched they, on they, them. They've been in the studio before. Yeah, right. Diabetes um, approved. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the delicious. Oh, Kit Kat. the it's mint, the mint, the mint, mint dark Kit- chocolate. You know what, dude? I'm all about those. Those are one of my weaknesses. Uh, whenever I dude, go to the Sevi, so I I always got to pick one of those up. My my other thing that I've been picking up lately is the Savage Slim Jim. Have you seen these? Oh yeah. No. Oh. I dude, I avoid the little meat section cuz like I'm just so anti beef jerky from anywhere. What? It, what? Why? It's so <laughs> expensive. It's ridiculously expensive, guys. It's on sale all the time, man. The big yeah, guy at like a instead Publix. Instead of 7 it's like $3. No, that dude, happens at 7-Eleven. No, no, no. I so 
we have a Publix in the plaza where I work. They put like a Jack Link's bag in the like buy one get one little display at their at the Publix right there. Uh-huh. I went in the morning to get stuff for work and was like, ooh, when I get off at five, I'm going to come back and get that. They couldn't even do it. They were gone? <laughs> yeah, it was fucking gone. Oh, man. Because they had one little half tray gone. Well, I was like, uh, jerky's a popular product. I can't blame them. I know. And I'm sure at buy one, get one, it's an even more popular product. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, you can't sleep on the Savage Slim Jims. They're about, like, two to three times the size of a regular Slim Jim. But okay. they're, but they're uh, you know, they're now marketed again by uh, uh, <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage, of course. Posthumously? So, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who's, oh, wow. I don't know who's getting that money. If I uh, think Slim Jim might have like a, you know, in perpetuity for on forever, <laughs> like at least on the imagery that they already have a macho well that was a weird thing back in the day because he was of course with the wwf at the time and then went over to wcw that he had the contract with slim jim outside of the wwf so he was able to take all of that like endorsement money and like keep doing it even though he was in a completely different company which really in the wrestling world is you know something that just never ever happened Mm-hmm. So that dude just kind of a kind of a genius, if you ask me. Rest in peace, Macho. Cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers, old Randy. <laughs> I'll sip some Quake for Randy. Yeah. Ah, uh, moving on. We talked about the um, the boil situation with Ty, the purveyor of boils. What is? <laughs> give us a boil update, Ty. Uh, I, I'm getting close to normal. Like I can sit again, which is awesome. I can sit up without extreme pain. Oh, that's good. Good. That's, uh, that's good. The the general blood loss. Is, is Where did the boil go? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Where did the boil go? go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's uh, it's an ongoing process, but I think I'm past past the hump of the terrible. So the fact been, that, the uh, fact that you so can been, sit up is is obviously like a big is a big thing i've been using uh i don't i don't know what the fuck to call them they're like little man diapers <laughs> you know they're oh, like what uh, oh. it's 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 like a pad that's about maybe two three inches wide by four inches long or something that you just it has a peel and stick shit and you put it in your undies you're using women's pads. You're using, pads. Pads. You're using women's it's pads. It's basically a pad. It's not a women's pad at all. Why didn't it's you meant, just buy it's pads? It's meant for people that piss themselves and shit a lot. But <laughs> it was a good. Uh, it was a good barrier for the backup. But even that, like, I don't really need it anymore. But I've been kind of wearing it just just in case. <laughs> Ty, you can just say that you're like incontinent. No, man, I'm okay. I'm just bleeding out of my ass here and there <laughs> this is also why we don't have sponsors this is, a, you, know this is a fact. you know what's really fucked up about it like I, I so much built up and so much came out but there's still like it feels like there's a hardened area in there that i don't know if it'll ever come out i don't a know chunk. what to do about that yeah you got no, a it's, chunk it's in there it's bigger than a chunk it's big man <laughs> Does, I don't know that a chunk has a definitive size, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's more of a, a term. Yeah. Is it like a marble? Like a marble size? No, it's more like, I would imagine, a bratwurst or something. A what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, imagine a bratwurst kind of lining up with, here's your ass crack in the middle, and there's like a bratwurst on one side. That's just kind of nah. I'll go hot dog. I'll go hot dog. You, you almost have described the Savage Slim Jim from earlier. Like <laughs> you have a Savage what? Slim Jim in your butt. I crack? got something Savage in there, man. <laughs> Shit. He's got a mini Savage in his butt crack. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oof, this is, this that's is pretty good. This is pretty def- great. This is mm. definitely not good. But in all honesty, doing better. It's it's close to getting back to normal can you ride the lawnmower yet uh i didn't do it this week 
but I will do it next week. <laughs> Your parents are so upset with you. <laughs> yeah. Today I did some uh, some trimming and other landscaping, but the only thing I can't do yet is like bend all the way over. Like if something's on the ground, I can't get to the ground. <laughs> Do you, so you can't tie shoes you couldn't do that like you, i mean not if you know you can does, lift does your mo- foot up does mom shit, have but... to come tie your shoes for you uh sandals non-stop you don't need to tie nothing that's true <laughs> that's true what's the weather never need like? to go outside if you never got to go to work <laughs> <laughs> never have to put on shoes if you never have to go to work <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's true that's true do you, uh, do you Don't have act some... like I'm the only one, you motherfucker. No, I'm fucking... I'm as un... Look at me. I look like I'm unemployed. I mean, I'm, I, 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 I'm right there with you, buddy. I'm right there with you. Uh, you know? Topic... Might be super employed. <laughs> yeah, how did it go from us having decent jobs once upon a time and we... <laughs> look, look, we used to look Taco down. Man ain't looking too bad, huh? No, yeah, that taco Ooh. life uh, is doing you, doing you right, you know? Yeah, you know what? taco life is pretty good yeah i think actually some of the people uh from work might be listening that's cool at work right now so shout out to the kitchen crew shout out the taco holla yeah making some tacos good to thanks for listening y'all they're gonna start asking you questions about like how do I do this? Or yeah, can hey, I, bro. Hey, man. What's... Can I go home early? <laughs> like, B, can I? Can <laughs> do I have to clean the back? Like, do I gotta do all the dish, or can I just do this stack right here and then go home? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds about right. It sounds about right. What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> so we have to get into, I think, or early on. Uh, Ty, I'm gonna let you kind of explain this. You started a thread in our Facebook group. By the way, <laughs> facebook.com slash group slash oh no radio show. Uh, it was a little uh, it was a little spicy. Uh, this was also on my incredibly drunk day drinking day when you did this. <laughs> and uh, what exactly did you ask? What was this? Because I was too I'm too yeah, uh, I've already forgotten <laughs> because I was so hammered. <laughs> I I just remember I saw that crazy foot picture, that fucking deformed, disgusting foot. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like uh, the big toe had two toes coming off. Like Oof. it had a second toe oh, on the, the big, big toe. toe. Yeah, it was a it was a grossly mutated foot. Whoever that foot is, I feel bad for you. But uh, mm-hmm. that turned into me thinking about uh, you know like. I've never been a foot guy when it comes to sexy shit. Like, feet don't really turn me on, really. They're fine. But no, they're, I'm with you on this one. I'm, I'm, I'm. But at the same time, I have been with a couple girls that do have nice feet, and they kind of, you know, were into it. <laughs> so I don't mind giving your foot a little love. Don't get me wrong. You're... I'm not sticking it anywhere, but whoa still i'll pay attention to your foot and give it a give it just give it a little nice spicy goodness what about Ty, the, what, what about what the other way around job? yeah it's exactly what about the other way around did you did no they... don't touch my feet no 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 no, no. i'm <laughs> saying like with their feet like give you old you know randy savage massage <laughs> or what about the old between the arches Give you the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we're yeah, talking the, the old same McDonald's, language. the foot job kind of dealy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't really excite me, but no. at the same time, sometimes like if you're going downstairs, sometimes the only way they can reach you is with a foot. I don't mind you just kind of playing around down there while I'm over there. It's cool. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That I way, do. we're 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 all being, you know. Per- <laughs> we're, well, I'm not like we're a... helping each other out. I'm not a gigantic, super tall guy, so I guess that that's a unique problem for you, Ty. <laughs> you asked. You asked, though. Uh, I just asked what uh, you know. What's what's the weird, sexy shit that you've been involved in? Right. Was really the the, the question. The strangest of yeah, um, man. The, you're talking about having a gaggle of onlookers in certain situations. <laughs> you're... I've I've been to some sexy parties. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> then we've I mean... then we've got our friend Mark Hales chiming in about his experiences <laughs> in Thailand. Uh, uh-huh. Oh yeah, I, I'll give you. All right, I'll, I'll do some Mark Hales for you. Done it in stereo with my mate. 
some old slosher at a party. Also had a Franz clamor with an audience. I ask him, <laughs> Franz clamor? What is that? <laughs> he was a famous skier, Owen. He had to grip a pole in each hand and make long stroking movements. You get the idea. P.S. Oh she was God. P.S. She was six months pregnant. Maybe I should leave a voice message to explain, <laughs> which he didn't. So you know, I gotta do. I gotta do it for him. I suppose. I suppose. I know he appreciates it. <laughs> oh, she's she was given the old uh, train. Uh, you know, this whole she thing was, I didn't think, really. I think it didn't make me raise my eyebrow until she's pregnant. Pregnant, wo pregnant like, woman oh, in between I mean, doing one of these, like yeah, like skiing that's, down that's a hill. That's pretty spicy. A uh, friend's clamor, eh? Okay. Ty talks about the old Eiffel Tower. Mark then says, "Oh, oh, the spit roast, Tyler. In stereo <laughs> one was in the pink. My mate was in the stink. Yeah. So that yep, that, yep. that was whoa." <laughs> That's, hey, a, a, that's a little closer than a... <laughs> yes, yes, it is. You gotta be... I thought, a, a, lot I thought like... a spit roast was from, like, either end. It, and... yeah. it is. It yeah. is. Well, that's... He, he, was, he went on to progress into the... Oh, uh, to the old <laughs> uh, DP. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'll say it out loud, and I'm not ashamed of it. Most most porn Pornhub searches from, of mine include the DP. I'm not gonna lie. Include the DP. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh, it's well. it's like my favorite favorite thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. Uh, Ty then says another weird party back in the college days had a methed out dominatrix that was uh, <laughs> tying people to her whipping post. That was a weird party. I'll never forget oh. her meth teeth. Ew. Oof. Okay. You yeah. know, it tell us been a little like bit cooler... about this. I I might have got more into it if she didn't have the crazy meth face. Like her her. Oh, she really had like it looked like moss was growing on like half of her fucking smile. It's like, girl, why do you smile? You should never smile. <laughs> of course, I asked Ty, how does the cyst play into your sexy time? Uh, he says it's a bloody good time. Uh, then we got then we got our friend Bryce. <clears throat> Vagina shows in Chi in Thailand. Girl used it as a bottle opener for my beer. There were like ten different acts. The best a girl gave me about a dozen other balloons, uh, others balloons. I'm in the back room. Girl on stage used a blow dart gun and pops them all. That wow. shit is incredible to me, man. Yeah, I want to see that show. Now that's talent. That's <laughs> a talent. vagina blow gun. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's what he's saying. Uh, all about this Kegel. Get that Kegel exercise in. Mark then says, when I was there, Bryce, she also shoved a bottle of water up there and out came Coca-Cola. Not to mention a string of razor blades on a ribbon and other objects. Seeing how she could, how she could pop out a ping pong ball was also amusing, too. <laughs> there we go. All so right. that's, that's the type of stuff that you can expect from... Um, our own no, no Facebook Yeah, group. our own no Facebook group, if you're, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, you know, uh, that, and uh, maybe you'll need a uh, a little bit of a palate cleanser and and watch some Ono gaming while you're at it as well. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, that's what I'm gonna do after the show today is uh, do a little bit of streaming of my own. Yeah. Um, how's that been going? Be... How's in all seriousness? How's that been going? Um, it's <clears throat> Whoa. yeah, that's hey. good. It's been going good. I got a lot of things set up. Um, just got to uh, pull the trigger on spending money to restream to Facebook groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that, that I've there. Are, I've heard about a workaround for that, and I don't think there's any way I would ever hit 5,000 active uh, followers for any reason. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, maybe that's something we can look at together because... You know, I'm I'm in kind of the same boat. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind being able to broadcast both on Twitch and on Facebook. I know with super large audiences, they kind of frown upon it because Twitch wants to have its own thing and you know all that. So like, you know, it, it's something we're working on. But maybe in the future, that's that's something we can do so we can have the stream going off on both on Twitch oh, yeah. and and on Facebook. I'm I'm totally down with that. I mean, I just it, want to say you guys don't have any spicy sexy. 
No spicy sexiness? Come on. Uh, <laughs> I, not, not really. I've been with my wife. I can't be out here We're slinging so, my spicy Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you uh, can. Oh, no. Nah. No shame. No shame. Nah. I've been my with my spicy wife so long. Owen, Owen's got a missionary all the time kind of feel. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's it's missionary 80% and a weird, weird row around the other 20 but we did we we did the 69 a couple times we did that we did you know we, we, we like we like a, a bit of doggy you know we, like, that's we the, did yeah. the 69 and the doggy a couple times. that's the sexy nasty yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what i that's what, that's what i like uh she's um she all like, right. you know a little lingerie here and there um got really into that like hot and cold lube stuff for a while that was oh, fun. Yeah, that yeah. was fun yeah uh yeah. Wow, you and half of nebraska <laughs> yeah well <laughs> sorry i'm a polite english gentleman <laughs> um i ate half of a subway sandwich whilst uh, what are yeah, you george whilst... fucking costanza what are you doing here <laughs> it was there and i was that's what we had just come back from getting the sub and i was hungry but she was <laughs> a little Boring. more yeah. in the mood right so and I, it, how did that go over how did that go over come on like that, that that couldn't have gone over particularly well um it went fine until some lettuce fell on her <laughs> like butt ass and whatever kinda... man you you can get that clean it up <laughs> yeah i was i picked it i was like oop, he ate it he go, oh. you know, <laughs> no, 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 no. it's good for you she was upset though understandably <laughs> she, she didn't know you were eating the sub you were you were sneaking it you were sneaking it i think that's why she was upset <laughs> Because I didn't, I wasn't up front about it. If you would have just offered her maybe a couple of bites, maybe it would have gone over a little better. You know? She had her own, and it was right there too. Would you have been oh, mad if that she's been awesome. munching down? You're munching down, like you're, you're. I wouldn't have cared. No, you wouldn't have. I know. I know you. Um, I've done the old like end of the dirt road, like in the car. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'll say. I'll say that that is one. I've thing. gotten the roadie. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, yeah. I've got that too. I got that too. And and um, in our earlier days, me and the wife did in quite enjoy the promiscuousness of, ooh, we might get caught. We got we're doing it in a public place, like a public yeah. park or something what? like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we. That's what I'm talking about. We, we, <laughs> leave the window open and yeah, you yeah. know. Get it right in front of the window a little bit. There was, there, in our old neighborhood, there was these houses that were being built. No one was really living in this portion of the area, like, on the street. But we definitely, like, boned on the, like, front lawn of a house one time. One time in a, in a, uh, on the, on a green of a golf course. And that was, that was fun. Uh, yeah, so, you, you know. What, what I've done you? the, I did the golf course thing. You done But, of course, I lived, again, yeah, I lived on. Wait, was it the golf course? Nah, it was a different one. It was uh, actually, yeah, it was a different one. It wasn't that one. Oh. That would be great if we were Eskimo Golf uh, Green Brothers. Like, <laughs> we didn't oh, even yeah. know it, you know? Which hole were you on? Which hole? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't want to know which hole we were on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so will, many, so many, too many <laughs> questions. I will say, I will say, though, too, I've never been a fan of the incorporating the foods into sex. Like, a, like the... The whole whipped cream thing, or like the strawberries, or like the drippy. Yeah. Like, the uh, sub was purely circumstantial. It mm. wasn't like I'm really getting a boner from eating the sub and humping. Was it a good sub I, at least? Uh, Italian it BMT. Was it was Subway. <laughs> Italian BMT, lettuce, extra tomato, onion, extra pickle, oil and vinegar, Parmesan. I will say I've enjoyed a little, you know, Sounds candle like... wax here and there every now and then. Oh, that yeah. Was, Living the Vida Loca fun. right there. Remember that Ricky Martin video? Oh, yeah. Living the Vida Loca. <laughs> they do the old drippy drip of the candle. Yeah. I remember yeah, no. that. I yeah, remember no. that. Never, I never fucked with that. that. And that's also another thing. It's that, like, pain with pleasure thing, too, right? Like, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You into that? Just a little bit. Like I like a, a scratching. <laughs> You can, I, I have definitely came out real torn up. <laughs> Maybe a my like, back, Oof. a biting, a little biting. 
is okay. You wake but... up, you wake up in the morning, your sheets are all blood stained. You're like, what the fuck happened no, here? Then I'm, yeah, then I'm not having a good time. See, that's... No, it was a great time. I enjoyed the shit out of it. I just didn't know I was bleeding because it was crazy. I've, I've <laughs> done know? that to myself, unfortunately, where I've I've just had hangnails and I've not like trimmed my nails right, <laughs> and I've just woken up when I'm scratched all to hell, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, you know, like. In my... Oh, I thought that was definitely going to be a self pleasure story. No, 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 <laughs> no, def definitely not. Uh, it, but, you know, and speaking of nails, actually, I just. The other day, I trimmed them way too short. You ever do that? That's the oh, worst. Oh, I mean, you, you feel that cuticle underneath, and like it's like, oh, it's the yeah, sensitive all day. Yeah, I mean, it's probably oh, thinking about it makes your like fingers crawl. It does. Yeah, three days, three, four days later, it's still like it's a lot better. It's almost back to normal, but it's still kind of just like ah, you know, like I it, feel like I never fuck up my fingers. Like my fingers are easy, but my toes are another story. Like I cut those too short sometimes and it drives me crazy. I think but... I'm the opposite of that. Like I've done I do it more with my fingers. I'm I think I'm uh I'm a little better with my toes because they're like that thick nail too. Like that yeah, man. oh yeah. That's I painted you'd be proud of me, Ty. I actually painted uh, my toes and and, and, yeah. I, and I painted I painted uh, my fingernails too. I got real drunk the other night and I had um I I've since got rid of it cuz it looked atrocious, but I had <laughs> but I had like red and uh red and blue fingernails. I was doing each other nail, I did some red, I did some blue. I showed them to Teresa and she just laughed at me cuz like <laughs> you can't you don't even know how to do it. Like it, it Did you do like your uh ring finger with like a little union jack so it's like one different one i would you know if if uh if i had that type of skill but right right I, I, i'll be honest painting, I, your, dude, painting your nails isn't easy it's 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 giving, not especially and like i'm in the same boat like i mean it yeah I, i've tried to paint my own but it never works mm -mm. like that's why i always went to the petty place to get my shit done yeah, but like yeah, yeah. I every time I try, which I tried recently since I've been here, oh man, I fucked up real bad. It looked it looked atrocious, and I was mad because well, I didn't me, really care. That makes but. me feel a little bit better that it's not just me that just that can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I also I'm, had I'm great at it. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> no, I, I see. We had a grandma who used to let my little sister do it, but when my little sister wasn't around, she still needed it done and wasn't going to pay for it. Yeah. So we helped out. And then, of course, like, all the Warhammer stuff where I'm painting miniatures, like... Oh, yeah, that makes so sense. That makes sense. I've got a lot of lot of skill with, like, the little brushes. I, <laughs> now, like, it, I can make it look good, like, solid. I don't think I could do a Union Jack on your little nail. But yeah, no, it's pretty I tough. can make, like, at least solid colors look okay. I could probably do the St. George's flag because that's just the England flag where all that is is like the red cross on a white background. So I could probably pull yeah. that off. But yeah, the intricacies of the of the Union Jack would be would be pretty tough, I think, for sure, for sure. Glad uh, I, you know I glad I'm not the only one that's experimented with painting my nails. I uh, I kind of I do kind of enjoy it. I feel like you know it's like ah, it kind of feels nice. It kind of it, I don't know, it's, uh, <laughs> we did it in high school. I've done it um, several times to like work on stop biting my nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one but of then the as tricks, soon as I stop it? doing it, I just go back to biting my nails. Yeah, I'm the same. I've got a pretty bad I'd habit have, with. I that. pretty much have to paint them forever. Yeah, it, it's like clear coating. Like just a little, like mm -hmm. just enamel, so it just tastes like shit. Yeah, 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 and it just feels different too, because you've got that little bit of extra, like Wait. I don't know, yeah, or, like it's almost like a cushiness to it. Like you, you mm -hmm. know, I don't know, like you, you have to bite through the paint to get to the nail, which it always, you know, it doesn't have that same like satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, a, okay. yeah, I'm no. not, a, not a huge fan, but oh, uh, no, you know, it was it was atrocious looking when I painted them. And I, when I showed Teresa, when I got up, she laughed, like I said. And I'm like, well, fine, I got to get rid of them. But I also got, uh, wanted to get rid of them because the following day, I was having um, my AC maintenance. And I knew some real men maintenance guys were going to be coming <laughs> around the house, like some, some redneck maintenance guys that were going to be taking care of it. And I'm like... They're gonna think I'm really gay, aren't they? So, uh, so I, uh, they're gonna think I'm some cook for my wife. Yeah, exactly. 
And, you know what's uh, funny? My mom. No, they would like, call you. They'd be like, yeah. this liberal cuck, yeah. damn nails painted. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, that, that, that I is. tried to no flight. I really didn't try to convince my mom to do it, but she wouldn't. She like won't allow it. She's mad about it when I want to paint my fucking nails. What? She doesn't like it? What? No, I'm surprised. I'm like, why do you have a problem with this? It's weird. Yeah, that is odd. Like, what does it bother anybody else, right? Like, and why is it that uh, just women can do it and men can't do it? Like, I don't know. It's uh, do what you like is all I say. Like, right, if, if right. It, you know, if it makes you happy, you know, what the hell? Is it? It's not causing anybody any uh, harm. But I we, mean, you know, I, I've been rocking painted toenails for a long time. But yeah, like, that's your. That's nobody your really gives me shit. They're just like, oh, well, that dude paints his toes. So I've never even like I've gotten maybe a weird eyebrow once or twice, but most people don't get any shits. We did it in high school, um, like for robotics all the time. <laughs> um, we've done I've done it a couple times, like as an adult, just like, again trying to stop myself from eating my nails. Right. And no one ever really said anything. Yeah, like, no, I, I, I've known guys who paint their nails black like yeah, forever. The whole goth thing. I, I did that in high yeah. school myself. I'd always do a weird one too. It was just like I wouldn't do all of them, but it would be like two or three nails on one hand or something, you know. And just to I don't know why. You know, it was just kind of like oh, I like the aesthetic of that. It's just something different. But anyway, those uh, those maintenance AC guys did come by and. Wow, they were kind of assholes. They put up a big stink about, you know, I'm like, hey, if you got to come in the house, I'm going to have to ask you to, you know, put on a mask. And and they did, but they were not happy about it. You could oh, tell they no. were they were furious. They were this fucking liberal piece of shit. Fuck this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could tell. They were just like, and they didn't really want to talk to me at all. Like, I was trying to engage. And, of course, I put my mask on while they're inside my house, you know. Yeah, so man. As well you should. As well as should. And, uh, you know, I, I got to say, though, they did a bang-up job because I've had trouble getting my AC below, like, 78 in the day. Like, it's been, like, the very lowest. It usually hangs around 80 degrees when, like, on a hot summer Florida day. Mm. And uh, it gets uncomfortable, you know, especially – with Teresa working from home and yeah. me being unemployed and being in the house all the time. And so we finally, yeah, we got him out. Now it's like, oh, we got to, we can get it down to like 72, 73 degrees, like 72 oh degrees God. last night. We were just like, oh, man, we're in heaven. <laughs> I have, I've thought about uh, getting one of those really cheap, like window units for just our bedroom. Well, you had that. Remember, you saying you had that as a kid, right? Like it, you had, and it would. Oh, you I just get want it back. So cold. I want, I want my ice box back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'd, I'd start playing video games in there, and like a full like hoodie, like <laughs> pitch black hoodie. room, like all. Oh got, yeah, 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 yeah. And like a full blanket. I'd have to start playing like scary video games because it would only make sense with a blanket. Yeah, yeah I like it. I kind of get that. Moving uh, forward, though, you know what I think it might be time for? Uh, might it be time to bring forward?